I tried all of Adobe Illustrator's new tools so you don't have to. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for being here. I design a lot of branding, logo designs, website designs for my clients and I use Adobe Illustrator every single week, if not every day. And I feel like I get in such a rhythm that I forget that they release a lot of new tools and features that can really help us as designers. So I wanted to take the time and explore some of those tools and also save you the time from having to do that. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll show you those tools that I tried out. Okay, this tool I am so excited about on Adobe Illustrator because I've been doing a lot of packaging design for my clients and this specific client in particular, we are doing her package design, but I was struggling a little bit with how to figure out the dimensions of her package. But with Adobe Illustrator's new dimension tool, all you have to do is open your project in the latest version of Illustrator and click on the tool over here called Dimension. And once you open that, you can basically grab any part of the project and bring it across to measure all sides of the project. This is so helpful because now I can double check in pixels if I'm creating the correct sizing and that if everything looks okay. And I can also give the printer the exact sizings of how I designed it. Also has this option. So if you have a radius or anything that you need to measure in between, you can also do that and you can do an angular dimension measurement as well and you can also check out the dimension tool options so this is a super helpful tool for any sort of package design that you may have in the future i also wanted to show you guys another quick little example of how to use the dimension tool especially if you're doing a package design that looks more so like this like a box with different angles and different sides of the package or whatever it is you're designing on this is a really really nice way to see all corners of the design and how the degree is of that corner. Um, you can also do, like I mentioned, the radial dimension. So if you have like a sticker, for example, which I'll show you right here. And if you really wanted to check the radial dimension of that sticker, you can do so by clicking into that circle. So it's a really nice way to check the measurements of everything, but I wanted to show you how you can do it on the corners of any sort of box design or design with different angles. The next tool I want to show you guys in Adobe Illustrator is the text to vector graphic, but let's see how this works here. So I have my text to vector graphic panel open and you can get that by going to window selecting it at the bottom of the menu there and as you can see there's different options for subject scene icon or pattern so let's see if it can make an icon for us and what we're going to do is you can select a different style you can do minimal or complex detail so let's do right in the middle there and then we're going to give it a prompt so i'm thinking for this icon i want it to be like a coffee cup with either like a tree coming out of it or something like that. So let's see if it can create a coffee mug with a pine tree inside the cup or inside the mug. You know what? Let's keep it really simple like this and see what it can create for us. Okay, so here's what it created. I actually am way more impressed than I thought I would be. It's pretty cool and it's kind of nice that you can already see the colors that it added in here for us. So that's awesome. Definitely not something that I probably would have created myself, but it is kind of a cool option to see like what that looks like. So love that let's try one more and see if we make it more complex what that looks like and let's say panther with a let's say panther lifting weights lifting weights okay so here's what it created for my other prompt which is a panther lifting weights i don't know why that idea popped in my head but i think it'd be kind of cool for a gym or i don't know something like that but i'm actually pretty impressed with the panther it created. I can definitely tell this has way more complexity than this one. So you can definitely play around with the amount of detail. You can play around with the prompt you give it and see if it creates something even more complex. Let's even try with... I'm gonna try one more because it's kind of fun to play with. Okay, that's actually really cute. 
that's pretty cool it's kind of crazy to think that ai created this for me and i didn't have to do anything besides tell it what to do i just want to try one more with you guys which is a pattern and let's have it create a pattern fruit pattern or let's do coffee shop pattern with coffee beans mugs candle i'm just gonna have it generate something based on that prompt i gave it so the pattern takes a little longer which makes sense because it's using a lot of icons and stuff okay that's actually pretty dang good i didn't really give it many directions or anything to do i mean some of these little drawings are a little funky but that's honestly pretty dang cool so let me zoom in once you zoom in you can kind of see how messy it is but it's kind of a cool idea it gives you a good idea of like how to lay out a pattern too so that's kind of a fun tool to play around with and i know it's in their beta still so it's not going to be perfect but like i said it's a great way to kind of get an idea of like what to draw all right guys this next tool is going to blow your mind i'm like so excited that they released this it is in its beta testing right now and it's called the retype tool but it's amazing because all you have to do is bring in any photo or image or even outlined text and it'll find a font that's similar to that using the Adobe font library. So I'm going to go pull an image from Pinterest and we'll see how this works in action. So we can do a photo like this. Literally any photo that you want that has a font that maybe you want something similar to, find that photo, drag it in here, and it'll match it for you. So I'm going to click on this photo and click match font, and it processed it really quick, and it shows me fonts right here that are similar to it. I can click on the script font, and if you click on the script font, it'll also load in fonts that look similar to that as well. So I absolutely love this. All you have to do is if you find a font in here that you like, then you just click on this little cloud and it'll add it in and activate it into your font library. Such a cool tool and I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. So let's try it one more time with another image that maybe has a few more fonts in it. And these are just from other designers on Pinterest. I'm just pulling in their images in here just to kind of test it out. So let's say match font and it's so accurate. Like I'm so impressed. I used to go to Font Squirrel to find fonts that are in images or fonts that I like the look of, but this is such an easier way to do it. And also the fact that it activates it immediately into your library is amazing. You can click on any of the fonts in the image and activate it. And it's actually very accurate. So definitely try this tool out. I think you guys are gonna also really love it. The next tool I wanna show you guys is Illustrator's new star live shape. This is awesome because you find your star shape over here in the panel with the rectangle and circle. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down shift and create the star here. Now it remembered the last star that I made, but if you wanted it to be the actual star with like the normal amount of points, then we can definitely change it back. But now it's a live shape, so this little button right here, we can drag it down to create more points or drag it up to create less. So here it is as a normal star. And then also if you go to window and open your control area, you'll be able to click into the shape settings and change the radius of each corner. So I can do that if I wanted it to look more like a flower or if I wanted it to look a little bit more rounded all around like that, we can do that. And I can also change the number of shapes this way. So this would have helped me so much when I had one of my client's logos, which I'll show you real quick. And we created a little symbol for her logo. It would have saved me so much time. The symbol looks just like this one right here. And I did not realize that I could create this shape by using that star tool. So super helpful tool. And you can also do the radius by clicking on this little circle here and dragging it down that way and kind of play around with the number of points. So this is a really cool option for creating like some fun different logo designs, different symbols and stuff like that. So highly recommend playing around with this one and checking it out. But if you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you stuck around and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.